1971 Plymouth Duster. It's got the original grill, um, so it's got a few little pits and stuff like that in the grill, but all in all, really in good shape. Front bumper's in excellent shape, appears to be original. Um, it's got a couple little scuffs and stuff on it, uh, but the chrome shine's nice and it's not all beat up. Under the hood looks excellent. It's uh, powered by a great running 340 four barrel with headers. Engine compartment's done very nicely. Idle's very smooth. Does have hood pins as well as both la uh, latch and secondary latch. The hood fits great along top of that fender. Um, gaps are really pretty decent. It's a little tighter in the very front than in the back, but not bad at all. Does have the dual hood scoops on it. Gap's a little wider in the front over here than in the back, so it just needs a little alignment on the hood, but not bad. It lines up nice with the top of the fender. As we look up and down the sides of this little Dart, um, for a dark color, it's a very straight car. Uh, the, paint's, the paint's older, so it's got a lot of chips and nicks and stuff in it, but all in all, just an awesome looking 10 footer. You know, a 10 foot, 15 foot, it looks like a show car. You get up close, you can see that it's uh, got some paint imperfections here and there, which I'll point out. Um, the tires on it are BFG race white letter tires, and they're like new. Um, the rally wheels are excellent. The trim rings and centers are new on it. This was a V8 car from the factory, but it was not a factory 340 car. I think it was a 318 car. As we look at the front fender, um, I can't point out all the chips, guys, but you got a little on the top of the door. It's got a little burn through a little bit on that body line. Um, it's got some paint cracks right there. A couple chips on that fender. The bottom of the front fender is rust free. I don't see any bubbles anywhere there. Um, the front fender is really in great shape on that whole passenger side. As we look at the lower quarters, it's got a couple little blisters right in front of the wheel, and it's got a couple right down here on the bottom of the rocker. Other than that, the door is super solid, no blisters on the door. It's got uh, one, two, three, four little paint scratches there. Um, it's got a couple little touch-ups up here. It does have the dual mirrors. We also have a little burn through there in the paint, a couple little chips. And on the lower quarter down here, you can kind of see it's just got some gravel, gravel blasting down here. That's just caused a little bit of blistering. Good solid metal though. Dual exhaust comes out the back, sounds real nice, it's got the nice tips. Back bumper is original as well, but it's got a lot of little micro scratches all over in it. So um, be a great candidate to re-chrome because it is a nice straight original bumper. A very straight, very solid duster. We open up the doors on the inside. Bottom corner of the door is real solid and original. Uh, door panel on the front on the passenger side is bad. Um, I did order some new ones, but they're still on back order, so I'm not sure if uh, when they're going to be coming in. The seats are excellent shapes. Got the factory bucket seats. They're very nice and plush. There's no imperfections anywhere on this passenger side. It's a factory four-speed car. It's got the original hump and everything there. At least I, it appears to be a factory four-speed. I don't have the numbers on that. So, um, But it's got the Hurst shifter. Uh, dash pad's in great shape. Um, it's got a little dent on the dash pad over there. It might have had a tack on there at one time. But there's no cracks anywhere on the dash. 
Um, the dash itself has been repainted in a black. Carpet's nice. The previous owner um, put the new headliner and stuff in it, and everything on this car was orange underneath that headliner, so he stated that this was an original orange car, which is nice. It does have seat belts in the front and the rear. The back seat's perfect. Very nice shape. No rips or tears anywhere that I can see. Back door panels are good. Seat backs are nice. So other than these front door panels, which are just tacky, the rest of the uh, interior is in great shape. Door shuts nice. Lines up well all the way from front to back and top to bottom. Um, this quarter panel is in a lot better shape than the passenger side. It does have a couple little paint chips and a couple little blisters right there. But other than that, super solid, very straight. Got a couple scratches in the sticker here. A couple chips right there. Right there. As far as our door gap goes, there we go. It wasn't shut all the way. Door gap from top to bottom is in great shape. Um, rocker panel, lower fender is excellent. No blisters anywhere there. No blisters anywhere in the door. Um, there again, a couple little paint chips up in here. But uh, all in all, just a great looking duster. Like I said, 344 speed. Uh, no power steering, no power brakes, but it does have brand new wheels and tires, new trim rings and centers. All the glass is good on it. Um, we did pull the glass out and put a new uh, new rubber seal around the glass in the front window and uh, we put brand new uh, window trim all the way around the front windshield. As we open the door here, the uh, pass driver's side door panel is not as bad as the passenger, but it does have a couple tears there as well. It's got an aftermarket temp gauge. It doesn't run hot, it's running about 140, 150. It's got its original Chrysler radio. Seems like it clicks to turn on, but we don't have nothing coming out of it. Let's see if the heater fan works. Heater fan is not working. Fires right back up easy too, so wipers are working. So horn, heater fan, uh, and gas gauge at this time are not working. And the speedometer works, but it does bounce around a little bit. So I mean, this car is still, still a little bit of a project. Um, still needs a few things here and there. Also, when I drove it out, I did notice that the front steering is a little loose on it. The steering box needs to be tightened up or replaced. I'm not sure on that, I have to check it out. But it does have a little, a little play in that steering wheel. Shocks feel real good on it. We don't bottom out or nothing like that. They're feeling fine. As far as our brakes go, they got a good strong pedal. It does pull to the right. I'm gonna make a ticket on it when it gets back. We're gonna adjust those brakes. And I'm also gonna just see what we can do as far as tightening up that front end a little bit. Um, I'm not going to do, you know, replace everything on it, but we're going to see if we can tighten it up a little. It's always a little hard driving with one hand trying to shift and hold a video tape, camera. As far as going in the gears, first, second, third, um, shifts fine in all four gears. We uh, did uh, replace some of those shifter linkage. We also took the gears out of it that was in it and put a brand new set of 355s in it. So as far as our gear ratio is just awesome to take this car down the road, you know, 70, 80 mile an hour, but yet have a lot of low end torque. So speedometer does work. I mentioned before, it just bounces a couple mile an hour. Cargo's 
down the road great, but will need, like I said, a little bit of front end work to it.